Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 24th video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I am going to show you Active Directory or Domain Controller Backup by using the Veeam Backup and Replication. So in this video I am going to focus on taking the backup of physical uh, domain controller or you can say the physical server which is running on Active Directory Domain Controller role and in next video we are going to take the um, uh, how we can take the virtual machine domain controller um, backup so this is active directory domain controller backup of which is physical server so this is our lab environment uh, so I'm going to have two virtual machines in this demo so the first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my active directory and domain server by which we are going to take the backup and here you can see the active directory so active directory DNS uh, Active Directory Domain Controller and DNS role is running. If you see here, Win2K12 DC01, and this is my dom domain name VictorInfoSol.com. So this is Domain Controller, and the second we have our Veeam server, which is Win2K12-Veeam, which is running Veeam Backup and Replication Server. So if I g go here, you can see this is Win2K12-Veeam. So this is my Veeam Backup and Replication Server. So I'm going to connect the Veeam Backup and Replication Console here. So this is Veeam Backup and Replication Console and now uh, I'm going to use last video we have installed Veeam Agent for Microsoft uh, Windows so I'm going to use this tool to take the backup of physical server so if I click here it's going to give you the uh, configuration option how we can configure the backup so if I go here on tools then we have a configure backup option this is going to give you the same screen so the first thing we are need to take the configure the backup after installation so in last video we have installed this tool and now we are going to configure the backup for the server so uh, entire backup recommended we are going to take the backup of full computer backing up your entire computer image for fast recovery uh, on any level so this is going to uh, take your uh, entire computer backup so if I click next then we have uh, uh, options where you want to uh, store the backup so we have three options local storage uh, might be a uh, USB disk or eSATA disk or external hard drive where you can take the backup uh, so uh, this is local storage uh, and then we have a share folder you can take the backup on a NAS or any share folder SMB share uh, and the last option Veeam backup and repository so I'm going to use this Veeam backup and repository backup repository to uh, store the backup so we have Veeam backup and replication server ready so I'm going to use this and click next then we have a uh, uh, it's asking for the Veeam backup server name or IP address so I'm going to type the name of the Veeam backup server so this is our server or you can click on continue so it's going to detect the remote repository and also you can specify your uh, your credential for this so uh, I don't need to require to uh, validate the credential because this is my domain administrator account so it's also automatically going to authenticate communicate and get the access to this server so this is fine so click next and then we have a repository option so I have one default backup repository here so we can go with this and restore point so how much uh, restore point you want to keep on disk so I'm going to uh, edit uh, put it 10 and we have also in advance we have an option to create a synthetic full backup so I'm going to take the synthetic full backup on Friday and then we have active full backup also and then we have a storage option so uh, compression uh, compression level which is which is default optimal is recommended so this is storage target it's a local target LAN or what I'm going to set it to LAN target and then click apply also if you want you can enable the encryption so this is how and click next and this is we have a um, local cache so this is recommended to specify local cache so I'm going to uh, specify local cache on a C drive create one folder and call it 
beam cache so this is going to have a local cache so I'm going to specify 5 GB it's depend on the how much uh, 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 data is going to change on your domain control or on your uh, uh, complete server so this is fine if I say 5 GB is a maximum size so click next and then this is this important option when we take the backup of our active directory on domain controller so uh, uh, enable the application aware backup so it's automatically going to see what the, what the application is running on the server like exchange uh, Active Directory DNS all this and it's going to take the backup of required like uh, Active Directory objects and group policies so yes enable the application uh, backup and also enable the file uh, file system indexing so it's going to take the everything except so this is going to something include exclude and what is need to include and what it's need to exclude so this is good uh, mark both the option then click next and then we, you have an option to schedule the backup so you can schedule like a, uh, every day one week day or what whatever you need so I'm going to schedule it like for ev uh, every four hours and then we have uh, active hours also if you want to select the ac active hours I'm going to permit for all and retry failed job if this job gets failed uh, when it's going to try uh, three times and each time it's going to give 10 minutes break so now this is good if I click on apply then you can see you have successfully created new backup job and this is going to give you the information about the job so this is backup server and this is backup repository and this is going to keep the 10 uh, restore point and then compression levels storage optimization storage description is disabled and then we have a backup cache information and application aware backup is enabled so all these settings are here and you can see the schedule server and periodic uh, every four hours retry and everything is there so I'm going to mark this here run this job when I click finish so now it's going to run the backup you can see backup in progress so it's going to run the backup and it's going to store this backup in this repository and also if you go on the uh, in, uh, infrastructure you can see this is going to uh, place this backup here in this repository if you go to home you can see the task is running so you can see backup job for win2 control dc01 and session type is based on windows agent backup because this is running through uh, veeam agent so this is how and the start time so it's going to take some time and if I go to backup and disk you can see we have one backup is now showing but it's not ready because the backup is still not complete so it's going to take some time to get this machine backup completely backup and once the machine is backup and ready and everything is good we can go and verify the how we can restore the active active objects and we will verify how it's going to take the application aware backup and how we can use the Active Directory backup or domain control backup by using the Veeam agent for, re for the restore so for now I'm going to pause the recording here and once the machine is ready for the backup I'm going to uh, resume the video again and we'll uh, do the restore for, for the Active Directory objects and other things so I'm, by, uh, I'm stopping the uh, pausing the recording for now so now you can see we have taken some um, full backup and then few incrementals backup and if I go to the my Veeam server you can see the successful status for all the backup job which was uh, run from uh, Win2K12 hyphen DC01 so we have basically five restore point if I go here and simply restore um, if I see here we're going to have uh, five restore points and one is full and our left four is incremental so this is how and if I uh, go to any of the these backups you can see the details what was there so total backup size and free disk space size backup duration and restore point size all the information is here 
also if you want to restore files or volume you can use this option to restore any files uh, from any drive which is uh, on the server so you can see both the drives has been mapped from the backup repository and also you can explore here you can see the path is going to be a CFR FLR and then volume details so this is uh, what we have in the backup agent and now what I'm going to do to check this uh, Active Directory story is working or not I'm going in my Active Directory users and computers and what I'm going to do in India I have some objects here and I'm going to delete few objects and we'll see uh, how it's going to work so I'm going to delete this I'm going to delete all these VMs